So for dinner tonight, it's gonna be a chickpea tomato curry. Um, and right now I've just been chopping up my tomatoes. And there's a couple ways to do this with the tomatoes. They're so low calorie that you can totally just measure how much you used by cup, um, which I usually do, but I'm gonna attempt being more accurate and see if it makes a difference. So I've got 437 grams, 27 grams of tomatoes right here. You can see it's about two cups or a pint. All right. All right, so now that we are letting that cook, let's go ahead and create a recipe. You're gonna click the, no, sorry, more at the bottom. And you're gonna click my meals, recipes, and foods right here, okay? You can see I already put it in, chickpea, tomato, coconut curry. I'm gonna delete it so that I can show you how to do it. So down at the bottom, you'll see the button create a recipe. I always enter ingredients manually. Um, I just find it to be quicker and more accurate. The adding from the web does work, um, but it pulls up the ingredients. Sometimes they are a little wonky, and so I just prefer to enter them manually. So I'm gonna call this chickpea, tomato, coconut curry. And this part right here, um, it doesn't really matter yet. So you can enter in any serving size. Um, I think that it's gonna be six cups because it, my pot that I'm cooking in usually is six cups, plus I've made this before. <laughs> um, you can also weigh it out. So if you weigh it out, then your ingredients would be, I mean, your, um, your measurement would be in grams. So you would do 1500 was our assumed weight, right? So let's pretend it's 1500 total grams. You'd put 1500 in, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave it as 1500 just for fun and then I'll show you how we can edit it depending on. So let's say we don't know yet and you're just gonna pick any random number. Um, let's say we're just gonna pick, I don't know, six. No, let's pick eight. <laughs> I don't know, something random, doesn't matter is the point. So now we're gonna add ingredients. Um, I have my cans right here, so I'm gonna scan my coconut milk first. All right, and up here in serving size, I'm gonna adjust it. This is a 400 milliliter can. Milliliters are similar to grams. So I could do the 100 by four, but look at the bottom, there's a container. So I'm gonna go with that. I used two cans of these chickpeas, but notice here, 400 for uh, the full can, 240 grams if it's drained. I clearly use drained chickpeas. So I'm gonna use 240 grams times two, since I used two cans, I'm gonna change the 100 to one gram so I can more easily account. And I'm gonna do 480 grams of that, okay? I also did like a half an onion. Um, this doesn't need to be super accurate. Let's go with one cup chopped. I mean, look, it's 64 calories. It's not gonna be that different. And the tomatoes, um, there's a, look at that one gram at the top with the check. The check is a verified, so that's nice. Um, I remember I weighed these out and I did 480. It doesn't really matter, or no, it was 440. It doesn't really matter if you do grams or cups with things like tomatoes or onions or things that are super low calorie. As long as you're in a ballpark of how much you used, then it's going to not make a big, a big difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do spinach. Um, and I'm gonna say frozen, because fresh spinach is a totally different volume. A cup of frozen spinach. I probably used about that, yep. Let's see, what else did I put in this curry? Um, I think that was really it. I did the coconut milk, chickpeas, onion, tomatoes, spinach. I mean, they're spices, but they don't really add much. And I didn't really use any oil. Um, so now I'm gonna go forward and I can go ahead and save this, okay? Okay, I have a finished curry here. Looks good. Um, I am going to show you how I would create a recipe for this. Now, there is no, it's pretty easy. I was gonna say there's no easy way to do it. There's no clean way to do it. <laughs> You're going to have to make a little bit of a mess in order to figure out how many servings are in it, okay? So I prefer to do my servings by cup. 
So I like to know how many cups are in it. Already, that's easier, right? Um, and then that way I can just have like a cup or two cups and that's how I log it. Um, you might be somebody that wants to know the grams in it. My husband likes when I do with gram weight because then he can just pour it in and see how many grams it is and log it that way. I'm gonna show you both ways, okay? So the way I do it is I'll usually get a container that I'm going to store the leftovers in anyway. So I don't have to wash it so I can still use it. And this is what I'm gonna pour that into as I measure. Um, I also have a two cup measuring cup thing here, okay? So literally what I'm gonna do is start dumping curry into this um, cup, okay? All right, so that's two cups right there. And I'm gonna pour it into this container here, okay? Um, I'm gonna get another two cups, most likely out of this. Yep, there we go. Another two cups in the container. Now I'm gonna keep going and see how much I have. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to be. I think it's gonna be six cups total. So I'm gonna pick this up, dump the rest in there. Oh my gosh, it's exactly to the one cup mark. Okay, look at that. Exactly to the two cup mark, sorry, two cups. That's six cups right there. So this curry makes six cups. If it was just below the six line, to be quite honest, I probably would have added a little bit of water and a little bit of salt to bring it up to the six. Um, if it was at the five and a half mark, I don't know what I would do. That's why the gram weight might help you because you can't type in five and a half in my fitness pal, I don't think. Okay, so if you wanna do this by gram weight, what you would do is you put this empty container on your scale, okay? And then you would turn your scale on. That way your scale is at zero. And then what you would do is you could measure with cups if you wanted to use this, or you could just, whatever way you wanna do, just dump it in here and see how much it weighs. Okay, so now let's say we wanna go, and now that we know our curry made six cups, when you're home at MyFitnessPal, you're gonna to go to more again, my meals, recipes, and foods, and what you created should be right here at the top, and you're just gonna click edit recipe, okay? Um, and I'm gonna click the top arrow forward, and I know it's six cups, so I'm gonna go ahead and, pre and type six, okay? So you can see right there that for one cup, it's 205 calories roughly. Um, and I can save it like this, but what I wanna show you is if you wanna do it in grams. So if you went ahead and weighed it all out, and pretend it's 1500 grams. Now I'm gonna save and log it. And so this way, you can change the meal up at the top to dinner or lunch or whatever. And you'll notice one serving, it's now assuming it's one gram. So now when you pour your amount in your bowl, you could just put your bowl on a zero dot scale and type in how many grams you poured in versus having to get a one cup measure and measure it out. You can just ladle it in every time you make this recipe and you can do it by grams, okay? So that is nice also, but you just have to spend the time weighing it out in the beginning, right? So I'm gonna um, actually go back and change this to six so that when it's in my fitness pal, it stays as cups. You're free to do it however you want. Um, and this is really nice, because if you wanna make this again, and let's say you use full fat coconut milk instead of light coconut milk, you can just take this out and sub in another can and bam, it'll adjust the macros for you and you don't have to redo the whole recipe. Or let's say you wanna add corn to it or if you wanna add chicken right to the whole pot. Um, anything that you do to change this slightly, um, you, you might have to remeasure it depending if you're not subbing equal amounts for equal amounts. Like a can of coconut milk, you don't have to remeasure it out because it's gonna be the same. Um, but if you're adding something in, clearly you'd wanna remeasure, but it will adjust the calories for you. So yeah, so it's super easy as you can see. All right, so I got my curry here. I got a full cup of curry, half a cup of rice, generous helping of cilantro, and a good squeeze of lime. 
and it doesn't have a ton of protein. You could always add tofu, add chicken, add whatever you want. I'm gonna have this little seitan medallion nugget uh, just on the side. It's got about 18 grams of protein just in this tiny little thing. So enjoy. Okay, so this is the saddest part of any delicious dinner is I'm done. I don't have any more. Um, and I would like to get seconds, but to be honest, I planned out my day calorically. I'm trying to really keep my calories in check because I've been slowly gaining weight and that's because I've been very loose with my intake. So I'm going to be very good with my intake today. Stick to my 1700. So I'm not going to have more because I planned a yogurt snack later and I really want that. So, um, I have a big old pot of leftovers here, which is fabulous because what you can do with leftovers is you can either just put it in the fridge, which I don't prefer. I like to lay out a bunch of containers and make some meals for tomorrow and the next day. I love having leftovers for lunch. Um, so I will make however much I usually, the recipes I make regularly, I know how much it makes so I can kind of plan how much I want. So if it's just lunch for tomorrow, because I'm going to make a new dinner the next night and that'll be lunch the following day, I can just make two lunches for us or I can make a, a, a multiple meals, maybe three lunches for the whole week. That way we have some grab and go things um, if I'm not really planning on cooking much for the rest of the week, um, or at least not a high volume stuff. So this is a great high volume meal. The other thing I love about it is I didn't add any extra protein into the curry. Um, chickpeas have a good amount of protein, but it's not really that much. This whole dish is like seven grams and I like to recommend somewhere between 15 and 25 as a general recommendation. So I added that seitan medallion, but tomorrow I can add tofu. The next day I can add a little chicken. Um, there's really a lot of options. Something else you could do is you could take your one cup serving, you already know how much that is. Then you could add maybe half a cup of broth or um, bouillon and water to kind of make it a little soupier. And then you can add more stuff in. So maybe you or add a little bit more curry powder if you want, add in some more veggies. If you have more leftover veggies in the fridge, you just want to mix into this and make it more volume for almost the same amount of calories if you're just adding veggies. Um, that'll literally double like the portion while very minimal adding extra calories. Then you get a little bit of a different taste. Um, there's lots of options that you could do with a meal like this, switching up the protein, adding more veggies to make it a little bit different if you're somebody that gets bored quickly. Somebody was just asking me about that. Um, so yeah, so this is a great meal. A lot of people will say that you should avoid things like high carb things like curries during a dieting phase. Um, I say F that. 